Hey guys, um, today I'm going to try to do a casual playthrough with Sonya. Our goal is to get through the game without any continues and um, using no exploits really, just using jump kicks, you know, roundhouses, some special moves here and there, but nothing really, no really kind of exploits honestly, other than that kind of stuff. Because the computer is just a big sucker for the jump kicks usually. Everybody's having a great day today. It is Friday. Hope you've already got your plans kind of lined up for the weekend. I hope those plans do include some uh, Mortal Kombat gameplay, to be honest with you. That would be great. That'd be my ideal weekend. In fact, that's what I plan on doing. I, I may even try to get some, um, uh, honestly, guys, I'm kind of looking to maybe get uh, an online play going. Because, uh, you know, my MK30 anniversary cab, I like to play online. I haven't done that in forever, as far as, you know, like a live stream of it. In fact, I've never done it really on a whole lot on YouTube. I've primarily just done it on, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've done a few on Facebook before, a while back. But it was on my old cab. It wasn't even on this cab, on that okay, 30th cab. It was a different cab. It was that one that came out. Um, well, never mind, because it wasn't online play then either. It was just, it was literally just, uh, just me playing through the game. So... But I like to actually play online, and that's what I'm thinking about doing on Saturday, if possible. If not, maybe Sunday, but that's kind of the plan. We'll see. But yeah, I've done some playthrough videos, or uh, live streams before. Uh, it's been a couple years now, but um, I used to quite a bit on the other, on the old cab before this one came out, before the MK30th. So as you see guys, I'm just using very basic strategies. Not trying any fancy special moves or any big combos or anything. Just basic stuff to get through the game. A lot of jump kicks, a lot of high kicks, that kind of stuff. Sweeps. I still like to make I still like to make it to where, you know, I just capitalize, punish them off their mistakes. You know, Luke Kang does that flying kick so I can uppercut him. Kano does that ball so I can I can punish him a lot. All kinds of stuff like that. So Raiden does his little Superman dash, his little dive or whatever you want to call it. And when he does that, I can do, uh, I can punish him as well. And I'll go through her moves here pretty soon. She really only has three special moves. But uh, what's great about Sonya though, is she's got such a fast recovery. So like if I'm doing a sweep uh, and, and they block the sweep, usually if you're somebody else besides Sonya, they can usually throw their projectile right after they block it and catch you with it. But with Sonya, it's hard. They can't. They don't usually catch her with a, you know, with their projectile afterwards. Although Sub Zero is not letting me get away from him. It's very nice of him. Try a different approach. Man, let's try to get that corner. It's a nightmare. There we go. <clears throat> so as we play through the game, I'll show you some of our special moves, but just in certain circumstances, I don't usually use them a lot on the enemy because um, they're not super useful against the computer. They are, however, really good against actual human players. For example, her leg grab is very phenomenal. Uh, basically special move to use against uh, people when you're playing against online with other people. That fatality is forward, forward, back, back, block. Just so you know, forward, forward, back, back, block. And you can do it from anywhere on the screen also. You don't have to be like, you know, out of sweet distance, or you can be like right next to it, or you can be literally across the screen. So, forward, forward, back, back, block, get you that one. Her special moves are the rings. She'll fire off some rings, her projectile. She'll do this kind of air punch that either knocks the opponents down or gets over to the other side of them. And she'll also do that leg grab I was just discussing with you. So, let's get out of this corner here, see if we can survive. So there's that leg grab. To do that leg grab, all you do is you, uh, you, you push down, 
and you press you press down, block, low punch, and low kick all together at once. So down and all three of those buttons. And she'll do that leg grab, just like that. Luckily, Johnny Cage is a sucker for that high kick. Here, I just like to uppercut him because in the pit stage, it knocks him down there on the spike, so that's pretty cool. So, Kano, I'll show you a couple, I'll show you at least one of her special moves against Kano. So, if you want to do the rings like that, to fire off those rings, you just press back, back three times, and low punch. That's all you do. And with Kano, I don't like to jump at him a whole lot anyways because he does that ball so much. He does that ball, it can usually knock you out of the air if you jump at him. So, I usually just try to, try to stay on the ground and let him do that ball attack. And very hard to go to level like this, he'll do it a lot. See, here's the leg grab again. Just press down and all three those bottom buttons again at the same time. Block, low punch, and low kick. Does a lot of damage, see that? Takes off like as much as a uppercut does. There we go. 4-4 four, four, back back block for the fatality. Kiss of death, as they call it. All right, so Raiden, I'll show you the other special move one. When he does this little Superman dash, if you'll press forward and back high punch real quick after you block it, uh, you'll do uh, do that right there. See, you gotta do it quick though, because if you don't, when he's coming down, it'll miss him and he'll also hit you after he recovers when he hits the ground. But you wanna do it right after you block it. Make that contact. Has out of health. <clears throat> he usually eventually does that Superman dash. There he goes. We'll try the jump kick strategy again. Now, the higher up you go, the more you can do. Like, if they block a jump kick, you can actually, um, a lot of times they'll throw the projectile right after they block it and you can like uppercut them or punish them in some way after you block their projectile. It's really effective. Oops. I'll probably show you what I'm talking about at some point during the game. But if you'll jump kick them and they block it, you know, block again because a lot of times they'll throw the projectile right after that and you can like uppercut them. Or in her case, you can also do a leg grab. So a lot of people just jump, jump kick, and if their opponent, if the computer blocks it, they'll just jump away right away. Well, I wouldn't do it right away. I'd give it a second to see if they're going to throw their projectile. See if we can get her to do it. Try to jump kick her and see if she'll block it. See like that. See how she threw her projectile afterwards? That's what you want to happen. You want to just uppercut and punish them for it. She's easy a lot of times because she likes to keep throwing a projectile when you're out of, when you're just out of sweet distance and you can just keep throwing sweets at her. Usually that'll work. That right there. She's real good or she's real bad about uh, you know taking the sweeps. Go, she did it again. So like I said, just don't quite don't jump away crap like right away. Give them a chance to see if they're gonna actually throw a projectile. Now, you, now if you want to, you have to don't go projectile, you can jump away then. There we go. She's a pretty easy mirror match usually. All right, who we got next? Now we got our, got our endurance matches. Sub zero, we'll start off with some jump kicks. That'll, see if that'll work. There we go. And with that, I was a little too far away to do a, an uppercut to him whenever he threw that ice. But I could still like do that right there, leg grab, or I could still do a, a standing high kid works as well. As we learned, just about everybody, not everybody, but just about everybody can run house Johnny Cage. Over and over again. It's a circuit form. Yeah, that range. See, I was out of range there, but I was able to um, still do the leg grab to him. There we 
go. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Just be patient. It's the most important thing. Let them screw up themselves. Let's see, we got Kano the next two rounds, which makes me happy because I love fighting Kano. Just because that right there, he makes himself an easy prey by doing stuff like that. The thing about Scorpion is when he throws his spear, he's a couple of things. First of all, he makes himself very, very reachable because he's got such a, he stands up his arm so far. But on top of that, um, he just, he's, he stays in that position for a long time. So because he stays in that position, you can capitalize off of it. Well, I thought he was gonna throw me out of the corner. There he is. Here he goes doing his little, weird little glitch on me, yeah. He did that to me earlier. He does this weird little glitch where he'll just keep throwing you, even though I'm, I'm pushing in the down back position so it should keep him from throwing me. Just <clears throat> trying to jump, it's just too slow to it. Go. That's what we want him to do. We want him to throw his spear and we can block it and never cut him. Or again, you can do the leg grab too if you like. Look how much damage that does, that little juggle combo. Backing off him a little bit, a lot of times he'll just throw his uh, spear. That right there. Again, that's forward, forward, back, back, block. <clears throat> Go. When we get to Goro, uh, not too bad. Uh, we just gotta keep doing jump kicks and keep shooting those rings right after, we do, right after we land from the jump kick. So he'll block a lot of them. We just gotta keep backing up and trying again. Boy, he's really trying to get me with that Superman punch, isn't he? Or dash, or whatever you call it. Oh, he's all about that right now. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to glitch it again. See if we can do it. Here we go. I don't really know what to do because if you jump, you'll automatically appear in front of him. So I'll just keep punching at him. <laughs> Maybe something will land eventually. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what to do there, guys. I haven't messed with it enough yet to see. Oops. <clears throat> Just trying to get away from him. Again, my joystick's kind of messed up, so I, I gotta really press hard to make him jump forward and backwards. Kind of irritating me. I'm gonna look at that and see if I can fix it somehow. Oops, that might be the end of me. Yeah, he got me. But yeah, if you see me jump straight up, like I said earlier, that's a mess up. I'm not trying. I rarely jump straight up and down in this game. Every once in a while, he'll block that too. Oops. That's not going to be good. Nope, that's not going to be good at all. Ah. 
so just junk kick. Man, it's so stiff. So stiff to get her to jump kick. It's crazy. Feels like she's gonna just jump straight up. There we go. Yeah, it's it's very jumping up towards him is very stiff on this controller, on this joystick. May have to start using more of the player two side. I don't know. Yeah, you can do that. It's, her jump kick is kind of kind of flimsy, though, when it comes to that. As you see, when she makes contact, you're in a, a lot of danger every time of him grabbing you. So, while it works, it's not ideal, really, I guess. Try to stay away from him because after that first guy, he usually changes into Goro. After the first one or two guys, he'll change into Goro, and you gotta back off of him because he gets dangerous up close. Okay, this time he decided to be Goro in the very beginning. That's great. Got a little lucky there, but you know, that'll work. So guys, as you see, it's for the most part, get through the game. It's not too bad. You just gotta use a lot of jump kicks or patiently wait for them to do something stupid, which they like to do. You know, they like, they like to do, uh, you know, they like to do like, like Kano's ball. He does the ball all the time. Raiden does that Superman dash all the time. Uh, you know, Sub-Zero and Scorpion, they like to throw the projectiles up close to you. So that gives you an opportunity to use your leg grab or uppercut, that kind of thing. When you jump kick at them and they, and they block it, don't jump away right away. Wait a second and see if they're gonna throw the projectile, and if they do, block that, and then you can like uppercut them or use your leg grab also. A lot of different variables. There's a lot of ways to beat this game. Believe it or not, I have an easier time beating it without jumping because I can control the, them a little bit better, and I don't have to worry about being like frozen in the air or harpooned, you know, on my way down, that kind of thing by, by Scorpion. So, as, as funny as it sounds, it, it's actually generally more challenging. I prefer to be, you know, feet on the ground the whole game, the whole match through. That works best for me. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We didn't get to talk about a lot of different things, but I just kind of wanted to give you a kind of step through on with Sonya because she is a little bit more complicated generally to beat the game with. A little bit. Not tons, but a little bit. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, keep an eye out. This weekend, I'm gonna, I am going to try to do the uh, the live play if I can. That's my goal. That's, that's the goal I'm setting right now. I don't know for sure if I'll be able to, but I'm going to try to have like a, a live, uh, you know, a live uh, play of uh, not not against the computer this time, but playing other people. So if you guys want to show up or or kind of check out my channel for updates, you know, we'll let you know if, if I if I decide to do it. In the meantime, guys, uh, have a great day. Have, again, I have, hope you have got your plans set up for this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. I hope they include some Mortal Kombat play. Uh, Whichever Mortal Kombat you want to play, I know a lot of people are enjoying that. Uh, well, they were. I'm not sure if it's still going, but the MK1 uh, beta, a lot of people are loving that. Um, me, I prefer, I, I like Mortal Kombat just in general, but I prefer overall the first four games. Five if you count Ultimate. I love one, two, three, four, and then Ultimate three. So, um, anyways, guys, have a great day, and we will catch you maybe this weekend. If not, we will, I'll most likely have a video for Monday. Take care.